Hallelujah, hallelujah. What another beautiful and awesome day today to always be in the presence of the Lord. Another day right now to give him all the thanks right now, to give him all the praise right now, and to give him all the glory. We're serving an awesome God. We serve a mighty God. We serve a powerful God. We serve an amazing God. We serve a God who is the same today, yesterday, and forevermore. We serve a God who still sits on the throne, who still performs miracles and wonders each and every day, who is still in the healing business, who is still in the blessing business. God is good all the time, and all the time God is good, and he is so worthy. Glory, hallelujah. He is so worthy to be praised. Every day is a day to walk into his course with thanksgiving and praise for who he is and what he has done and what he's about to do in your life right now today. Today is a day to always seek him and glorify him and always put Jesus first place in your life. Always. And I know some of us are going through a, a hard, difficult times right now. It's all right, though. It's going to be okay because God got you. God is on your side. It doesn't matter who's against you. As long as God is for you, that's all it matters. Continue to walk with him. Continue to trust him. Continue to rely and depend on his words and his promises. Because we serve a God that is so faithful. So faithful that he'll never leave you nor forsake you. That he'll never disappoint you. But most of all, he'll never fail you. He'll never give up on you. He'll never turn his back on you. He'll never do it. The only thing that he wants is a personal relationship. And if you have time and you're willing to give your time and devote your time to Jesus, watch how Jesus move and operate in your life. And if you have not opened up your heart to Jesus today, what are you waiting on right now? Invite him in. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father God, we just come before you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Give me all thanks, give me all praise, give me all glory. We just thank you, Father God, for who you are, what you've done, and what you're about to do. We thank you, Father God, for the day, the day that you have made. We're so glad to be a part of it and rejoice in it. We thank you, Heavenly Father God, for this word that we're about to receive, this powerful message today that's going to keep us full, keep us satisfied today. There's no place that we'd rather be at right now today, Jesus, but right here in your house, right here in your sanctuary, Father God, lifting you up with thanksgiving and praise. We thank you, Father God, for this word that we're about to receive. We thank you, Father God, for this powerful message today that's going to keep us full, keep us satisfied today. Father God, there's no place that we'd rather be at right now today, Jesus, but right here in your house, Father God. Father God, this is your time, this is your moment. God, I know that you're about to show up, and I know that you're about to show out. Father God, this is your house. The house that you built on solid ground, the house that you built on solid foundation, the house cannot be moved, shaken, or bothered. Oh, Father God, allow your presence to move to this place. Allow your love to move to this place. Allow your angel to join us in praise and worship in this place right now. Oh, Father God, we magnify, we glorify, we exalt your holy name right now today, Jesus. Oh, Father God, we're going to continue to put our faith, our trust, and our hope all in your hands again today, Jesus. Even though we might not understand what's going on, but we still trust in you anyway, Father God. Heavenly Father God, our Father, you are welcome right now. You are invited right now today to enter to our homes right now, right here in your sanctuary right now, right here on your YouTube channel, on your platform, even in my sister's homes and my sister's life, even in my brother's homes and my brother's life. Father God, I'm asking you right now today to fill us up more of the Holy Spirit right now today, Jesus, because we want more of you and less of ourselves. Holy Spirit, you're welcome right now. You're invited right now today to enter to the house of the Lord right here on Jesus' YouTube channel, right here on this platform right now, right here in my brother's homes and my brother's life, right here in my sister's homes and my sister's life. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to intercede and intervene right now. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to comfort us right now because you are confident right now. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to quiet our thoughts, quiet our mind right now so we hear your soft, still voice right now. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to move through this place like you never moved before right now. Holy Spirit, help us understand what Jesus is trying to show us and what Jesus is trying to tell us right now. We're going to continue to be obedient towards you, Jesus. Father God, we just thank you right now today. Father God, please forgive us for our sin, known and unknown right now. Wash us through your blood right now. Wash us as white as snow. Father God, I want to say thank you right now today for forgiveness for our sin. Thank you, Father God, for not remembering our sins anymore. Thank you, Father God, for the clean slate. Thank you, Father God, for a new opportunity. Father God, words cannot explain how thankful, how grateful, how honored, blessed I am, Father God, to pray, praise, and have fellowship with all my brothers and sisters today, Father God, in your house. 
Father God, let your will be done today. Father God, let your words go out and she not return back forward. I believe today, God, that someone's going to be healed today. Someone's going to be delivered today. Someone's ready to get their life up to you today, Father God. Oh, Father God, before I get started, there's something that's always in my mind about you. It's something that's always in my spirit about you. It's something that stays on the fruit of my tongue and the fruit of my lips about you. And I just got to tell you how I really feel about you, Jesus. I just can't thank you enough, 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 Jesus. I just can't thank you enough. That's why I praise you the way I do because I can't thank you enough. That's why I glorify you the way I do because I can't thank you enough. That's why I magnify and shout out your holy name the way I do, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I put my heart out to you every day, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I'm in love with you the way I am, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. I just 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 can't thank you enough. Glory, hallelujah. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. And if you're ready for God's word, let the church say amen. But let Jesus know right now that you can't thank him enough. Amen? Amen. The Lord spoke this word to me this morning. And the word that he spoke to me, he said, do what is right that's in your heart. Do whatever it is that's right in your heart. He wants you to do it. Some of y'all right now today, you're afraid to do what's right in your heart because you so worried about what somebody's going to think. You're worried about what somebody's going to say. But God said, don't worry about that. They're going to talk about you if you're doing good. They're going to talk about you if you're doing bad. But there's no need to take that leap of faith. There's no need to be worried about what he said or she said going to say. There's no need to be worried about what the haters are going to hate about. Because it was not, if there was nothing good in it, they wouldn't be talking about it. If they didn't see no blessing in it, they wouldn't be talking about it. If they didn't see favor that was on the situation, they wouldn't even be talking about it. They talking about it because they don't want you to be happy. They talking about it because they don't want you to progress. They talking about it, they don't want you to have more or do better than them. That's why they're talking about it. That's why they're hating on it. That's why they're socializing about it. That's why they're at the, ring, at the round table discussing about it because they don't want you to be happy. As long as you are doing bad, as long as you are struggling, as long as you are suffering, as long as they can talk bad about you and keep you right there on the ground, it's all good to them. But when they see that it's a potential somewhere, when they see that there's a blessing somewhere, when they see that there's God's hands on it somewhere, oh, glory be to God. They got something to talk about. But God said, don't let that hinder you from your blessing. Don't let that hinder you what God is trying to do. Don't let that hinder you what God is trying to take because God said, I know what's in your heart. I know what your heart is feeling right now, but don't be discouraged of what the haters are saying. Don't be discouraged of what the naysayers are saying. Don't be discouraged of what the he say and the she say people are saying. God said, do whatever it is that's in your heart. Do whatever it is that's in your heart that you know that it's right. Even though it might look, it might look wrong to the people's eyes. But God said, you know What's in your heart? God said that feeling been in your heart for quite some time. You cannot shake what's in your heart. You cannot shake what you've been feeling. You cannot you can't shake what you've been wanting to do. You can't shake what you've been wanting to tell him. You can't shake what you've been trying to tell her. God said, let it out. Just do it. They're gonna talk about you no matter what. It doesn't matter if you're doing real good. God said they still going to talk about you. So it don't matter if you're doing good. It doesn't matter if you're doing bad. They still going to talk about you. They still going to talk about you. I'm just here today to speak this word to somebody today. I don't know who I'm talking to. I don't know who this word is for today. But God said go ahead and make that happen. Go ahead and call whoever it is that you need to call and say, come on, let's make this thing happen. Whatever it is that's going to happen, this between us. 
I don't care what my family got to say. I don't care what the haters got to say. I don't care what social media got to say. I don't care what so-called friends got to say. I don't care what my job got to say. I don't care what people in the church got to say. I know this is the right thing for me to do. Go ahead and make that move. The word of God tells us in 2 Chronicles 17, verse 2, said, whatever it is in your mind, he said, let's go ahead and let's do it. Let's do it. Because at the end of the day, when you do it, it's going to make you happy. You, somebody want to be happy right now. Somebody's tired of struggling. Somebody's tired of suffering. Somebody's tired of hurting. Someone is tired of living from paycheck to paycheck to paycheck. They don't know when they're going to get out of this hole. They don't know when they're going to get out of this rut. They don't know when they're going to get out of this quicksand. And you're tired. And now God has blessed you with a suitable helper. But you are so afraid to bring that suitable helper on in because you're so worried about what somebody's going to think. You're so worried about what somebody's going to say. You're so worried about how somebody's going to look at the situation. Nobody can judge nobody at the end of the day. The only person that can judge us is Jesus. The only person. He the only person can judge us. So don't worry about what your family going to think or say. Don't worry about what your friends going to think or say. Don't worry about what your co-workers going to think or say. Don't worry about what the people in the church can think or say. Because we all got a past. We all live in the sin. And we all do things wrong in God's eye. We all fall short of God's grace and mercy. Every last one of us do that. But you got to do what's actually right in your heart. Don't let that stop you, my sisters. Don't let that stop you, my brothers. Go ahead with it. They're going to talk no matter what. But let them talk. Because when they're talking about you, oh, glory be to God. When they're talking about you, they know it's something right. If it was nothing right, if they didn't see no blessing in it, they didn't see nothing good in it, I guarantee you, my brothers and sisters, they wouldn't have nothing to talk about. They wouldn't even be worried about it. They're only talking about it. The only word about it is because they know what's about to oh, happen with this thing, Jesus. They know what's about to happen. They know that you're about to blow up. They know that you're about to start shining. They know that you're about to see a whole new a whole new woman. They're about to see a whole new man. They're about to see something they never thought they'd ever going to see because they liked when you was down and out. They liked when you was hurting. They liked when you was struggling. They liked when you was crying all the time. They liked they see when you was behind on your payments. They liked to see when you was behind on your bills. They liked to see when you didn't know you're going to get out of the situation. That gave them something to talk about. That gave them something to play on every day. But when they see something that's good, they see something that's amazing in your life. Glory be to God. They want to talk about it. They got to put their two in there. But God said, don't worry about them. Let them talk anyway. They only talk because they know what's about to happen. If they didn't think something good was going to happen out of the situation, they wouldn't even talk about it. They won't be on the phone right now calling everybody up. You know, so-and-so about to do this, so-and-so about to do that, so-and-so crazy they do this, so-and-so crazy they about to let that happen. They only talking and conversating because they know something good is about to take place. Help me with this thing, Jesus. Somebody know what I'm talking about. I know. I'm glad you asked me. Can you please turn your Bible to 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, and we're going to read verse 11. That's 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, and we're going to read verse 11. And if you have your Bibles open, let the church say amen. Amen. Glory be to God. We hear that some among you are idle. We hear. Who is we? Everybody in that circle are idle. Idle mean they, they got too much time on their hand. They're worried about things that they shouldn't even have to worry about. They're worried about the wrong things. They're not busy. You know why they ain't busy? Because they're too concerned about what you are doing. You know why they ain't busy? They're too worried about how you gonna how you gonna um, move up. They too, know why they ain't busy? They too worried about what's about to happen in your life. There are busy bodies. They too busy worried about you. Too busy worrying about your finances. Too busy worrying about your relationship. Too busy what's going on in your household. Too busy what's going on in your relationship. Too busy what's going on in your marriage. Too busy what's going on in your finances. Too busy what's going on in your dreams. Too busy what's going on with your children because they got too much time on their hand. God said, do what's right. Go and make that happen today, my sisters. Go and make that happen today, my brothers. God said, you've been fighting that urge for quite some time. There's no need to continue to fight it. He know you deserve happiness. You deserve that peace. You deserve a break. 
You've been doing it all by yourself for so quite some time. You've been suffering for quite some time. You've been struggling for quite some time. You've been going through it for quite some time. But God said, I bless you with some help right now. Don't worry about what they're going to think. Don't worry about what they're going to say. Don't worry about what they're going to feel. The only worried about it is because they want what you got. Glory be to God. They want what you got. If you didn't have it going on with that person right there, my sisters and brothers, they wouldn't even be talking about it. They want what you got. And they wish they can be in your situation right now. They wish they can be in your shoes right now. Glory be to God. That's why they're talking about it. That's why they're having conversation about it. That's why they 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 saying that's the wrong idea. That's why they say they don't like it. Because they want to be you. They want to be you. And if you know God is talking to you. And this word is for you. My sisters, my brothers. Go ahead and do what's right in your heart. They're going to talk about you no matter what. At the end of the day, they wish they could be in your situation. Because if it was them, if it was them, they'll make that move. They'd be saying the same thing too. And if you like what God just spoke to you about, go and hit this like button. Hit the subscribe button too as well. Can you please pray with me? Lord Jesus, I ask of you to come into our life to guide us, direct us, use us. I believe right now today in the mighty name of Jesus. I was praying a simple little prayer that God is already working everything God in our life right now today. And if you ever want to get in contact with me, leave me a comment. My YouTube channel is with us.lt. Always keep Jesus first place. Always seek him. Always find him. Always praise him. Always keep your eyes focused on Jesus because he's the author and perfecter of your faith. Continue to trust him even though you don't see anything happening. Continue to hold on to his unchangeable hands and please do not let it go. Continue to pick up your crosses and follow Jesus. Choose faith over fear. Always continue to pray for your fellow brothers and sisters. It doesn't matter if you know them. It doesn't matter if you've ever seen their face. Prayer help and prayer changes things. I'm always going to continue to keep y'all in prayer, my brothers and sisters. The only thing that I ask y'all guys to do for me is continue to keep me in prayer and keep me lifted up too. I'm serving Minnesota. I love y'all. Stay blessed. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.